the exergy uh, in in very simple terms can be thought of as available energy or it also uh, gives you an indication of how far the state of the system is from the environment right how far how far is it from the environment if it's uh, very close to the environment it'll be you know the exergy value will be small if it's very far from the environment the exergy value will be greater and the further the state is from the environment the further is the, the larger is the potential to do work okay so when the system eventually comes in equilibrium with its surroundings or the environment it has zero exergy because there's no potential for interaction nothing can happen heat transfer cannot happen uh, no sort of uh, transfer uh, can happen right and because they're they're all at the same properties so when the system is at equilibrium with the surroundings you call it the dead state and it has zero exergy but it's important to remember that the energy uh, of both the system and the surroundings at that dead state is not zero it's only the exergy that is zero and exergy is zero because you know we cannot make use of it for any work and uh, at this point of time i want you to recall the example of the carnot engine we discussed before and we said that even for a reversible heat engine right which is a carnot engine uh, the efficiency is not 100% we still are uh, we still have some amount of uh, energy which is not accessible to us which is not available to us right the efficiency is probably in the range of 60 to 70% or around 60% and that's because QC is not zero. QC is some amount of heat that needs to be continuously rejected to the environment for us to extract this amount of work. So therefore, uh, although uh, even the cold reservoir has, has some amount of energy, but um, you know when uh, you're, uh, but we as we have to continuously reject some heat to the cold reservoir, some part of the energy that is initially in the system let's say when it when it's at qh uh, when it's at th some part of the energy it's simply not available to us right this is the unavailable energy which depends on the temperature of the cold reservoir tc right it's it's larger if tc is big uh, and this un unavailable energy energy is smaller if tc is small but it is there is some part which is unavailable to us right the rest of the part which we can extract from uh, work from it is basically what's called the exergy so exergy the value of exergy for a given state will always be less than the value of energy for that state simply because exergy refers to available energy and there will always be some amount of energy which is simply unavailable to us and it's un unavailable because this is the energy that corresponds to the energy of the environment okay and once you are at the en energy of the environment there's nothing you can do there's no uh, there's no uh, there's no heat transfer there's no energy transfer that can happen